All right, welcome back. So I just built two more boats. They'll get here at some point. Boats tend to take a while to build. It would be a bad claim on this guy. I don't think Novgorod video. Probably Novgorod. Uh, they don't really like us, so they, pro they probably access. Although the Livonian Order might ask for access. Hope. Get a royal marriage on. Military leader has left us. Oh no. Hopefully we can get a royal marriage. Our diplomat gets back. Royal marriage. Hopefully lose her heir. Yay. So royal marriages won't bring us into only alliances. I don't know why they like us. Oh, they hate Novgorod. We hate Nov. That's right. They have land that I kind of want. So, uh, kind of not a great situation for you, bud. Here in. Blue back right now. Civil War. Okay, we lost our trade dispute. Mute. Well. We have, I would say, probably the majority Baltics. Trade the land itself. Sadly, we don't have a whole lot of the trade node, not trade nodes, harbors, estuary. That's primarily over here. So we're gonna need a Cassus Belly. Sadly, Scotland would join in on their side. I don't know why. I why would you make shoes? Fine, I'll take an alliance with you. Mainly because it might dissuade England declaring war. Maybe it might do enough to in Scotland not <laughs> side with Livonian order. Scotland still has a chance of flipping. Take a look at the Livonian order. Have about seven thousand troops. See what they're unheavy. Ugh. They have a lot of ships. Surprising. I'm gonna go ahead and move and start moving over that way. Again, I don't know if 
Novgorod would even let us have access. They don't... They don't like either of us. That's the thing. You... Probably... Give me military access. Okay. I was not expecting to be up already. Definitely go ahead and get these back up. Thankfully there's no uh, Danish troops on my border. Don't care about Novgorod, so power please. Ooh. It's actually kind of fine. So if these are um region noble rebels. So I think if these guys took uh Norway's capital. Denmark would no longer have a personal use. Okay, go ahead and here. So we actually kind of want these guys to see. Now we don't have the navy to fight Denmark very well. They have a much larger fleet. But what I'm hoping is that making me pay money. What I'm hoping is that these guys succeed and do what I think they're going to do. Oop, there's the Iberian wedding. Then Norway will become independent from Denmark. We can then declare war on Norway without having to deal with any of Denmark's bullcrap. Denmark I think they might get these troops, though. I'm not sure, though. Hopefully they don't run out of units. You no, know, I keep saying though a lot. Yeah. Try not to, but... Come on. Okay, they did get some reinforcements. Go ahead. Mm, Revel's the largest. Yeah, pick one up. That name. Okay, I'm not going to click it. That would not be good. Fortunately, we're not getting any spread from Denmark because. So. Can spread um, through borders if you're friendly with that person. Come on, buddy. Do it. Let our ships like keep passing by so we can get some vision on them. <laughs> Don't stall out. Okay. That just fell. That was good. Carlstead. So I don't think Denmark is going to declare war on us. 
allied with Sligo and the two. They still have that 0% higher. So I'm not sure how long this takes. This is what I think it is, Noble Rebels. I think Noble Rebels will break a... break personal union. Noble Rebel personal union. Oh, it's Pretender Rebels. Damn. That's unfortunate. So, let's take a look here. Denmark. They're over there. Uh, Want armies. Nine and Denmark. Eighteen. Yeah, I think the reason why we did so well was because we got the jump on them. While well, they were cardinal to us, sure. Yes. They're, they're still a fort. So, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do at this point. Kind of, I guess, hold out for a little while. I want to expand. Honestly, we might have to just go to war with the Livonian Order at this point. Take something. I don't think that we're going to be able to... Oh. Novgorod would go to war with Novgorod. Now, I don't know how much land we will take. Um, but we could definitely take money, which is sometimes a lot more important. So, let's see. They have 18. They have a force limit of 46. We have 18. That's like with Odiev on their side. I don't think there's any nations here. So for sure, I want to take at least a province. Because more than likely, Muscovy is going to come a knocking. And we may long term want to at least Novgorod. Pole. Advisor. We're going to take. So, the borders uh, determine who, like what gender particular advisor is. So, the silver one is always woman. Gold, and the other gold one is the guy. We're going to want to declare war before Poland ends their war. Okay. I think Neva is going to... Alright. So... Sadly, with Iron Man, you can't save scum. I just wanted to end like I was safe scumming.
18. That's kind of... Anyways, uh, never. Do this. Okay, we declared it pretty early, so hopefully the winter will set in. Go ahead and take the war goal first and foremost. Then apply a leader. I don't know what are kings. So you can always recruit your king. Not amazing. The It, like a guy. Okay. That, that's apparently not a thing anymore. You could use you used to be able to get the ability to give you a general. That's still not very good. Better, like... Shock. We'll put our king... ...in place. Go ahead and try and take their capital. Sadly, it is a level 3 part. Um, right, so that's the thing with the forts in particular. They tend to be a bit un- They're gonna go ahead and walk around and be a thing. Yes, I forgot that since that's a level three, some of our units we're going to need more units there. Let's, um, before this guy leaves, let's go ahead and place somebody in charge over here. Okay. Try and pick this warp off. It does have quite a bit of a bit of a navy. Expecting much navy there is. I think what we're going to have to do, fortunately, is go and kick his army's ass. Go ahead and pick off the little army over here. Diplo power or absent. Really steering that much out of there. Lose the trade. I know that it's only 10. So it's not really that big of a deal. Grassland.
Can't get any bonuses just yet. So we'll go ahead and hold off on attacking him just yet. This little twerp is going to go around and annoying. Wait until he gets up to minus zero, or up to zero, or at least the first positive. Um, what was that? Port. Yeah. That. So we're trying to wear down as much of his troops as possible before going in and attacking. This uh, guy... Okay, so when he locks... ...head and take them both out, he may try and... ...not going to... Cool. So when it's a 10 to 1 advantage, it's just an, an overrun. I don't think there's any, like, crossing. Holland. So we don't need our best maneuver guy. So we could take our king instead and get that extra shock boost. Not very much, but it's still something. So since he's been doing a siege, his troops should be a bit weak. One of the things that I forgot to do was this. Boom. Morale of armies. It should affect the battle. Just better troops, general, nice. On a stack wipe, fortunately. Looks like he's going to run back to his... But I think that was the right move rather than trying to take Novgorod. I think... Coming back and beating his troops was more important. So it does look like he's heading back towards Novgorod. We'll go ahead and follow him. Riding in Fort of Novgorod. Like his troops are really fast. Go ahead, stand back on Eva. He may give his Let's just go ahead and take not Neva. Go ahead and leave a siege. And when this guy crap. Go take this guy out. So, beating an army, uh, beating the enemy army in a fort province does give you a benefit. See you an extra. And uh, kill him. Thank you. We're going to do a shift consolidate so our front lines are as strong as they can possibly be. Good job. 
general is rolling a bit crappy, but that extra kill, very nice. We're gonna go ahead and our three back. That's pretty much his entire army dead at this point. As soon as we take Novgorod, it, I don't think he has. He has this one other fort. The rest of his provinces are garbage. Novgorod's probably his highest development province. Going to be the most war score. Me. Probably nothing. But we could probably get most of our. Really? Taken out alone? Okay, so for sure, I think we want to take Neva and Ingerman land. Um. Novgrad. <sighs> Hard to say because Muscovy is going to want. We take a look at what they have a very strong desire for um, Novgorod. So it might just be better to take it, uh, not take Novgorod, take these two, and then maybe like uh, something. And then just peace out for money at that point. Rest for money. So, let's go ahead and raise war, war taxes. That'll give us some. So, they changed it um, a little bit ago. So, we need to that just. Don't want to click anything here. Don't have. Capital does have. Uh, Renaissance now. Probably going to take a little while to try and get in that rod. Hopefully. Just don't. Look, like they're going to take another shot at Abo. Hopefully, we can beat them in. The Kind of at a disadvantage because not they have much faster times. Okay, come on, get a seven percent siege, do it. All right, as soon as this uh, next tick goes, we'll fall it apart. Um, that's going to be it for this episode, and hopefully next episode we'll end the war with Novgorod. I'll see you guys next time.